Hey y'all, Chef Irix Guy here, and I'm demonstrating the Thermo Pro. And you can use this to monitor your meat temperature. You can use it as an ambient temperature monitor or a combination of both. And you've got up to four probes. Now for today's smoke, I'm gonna use uh, I'm just gonna use two probes. I'm gonna use one for the ribs and then the other for the uh, for the internal, the ambient temperature inside the grill. Now sometimes I'll use a smoker. Today I'm using a grill, this will work fine on the grill just like like it will in a smoker or an electric smoker, you know, whatever equipment you're using. So the first thing is to, uh, for the ambient probe, this little bracket that comes with it, and by the way, expand this video's description, and then click the link there to find where to order it online. This bracket that comes with it will be used for the ambient probe. So what I'm going to do first is, well, I'm going to do several things. So the first thing I'm going to do is power on the uh, Thermo Pro. Just a quick button press, super simple. You can push it again to toggle between Fahrenheit and Celsius. You know, whatever you are, if you're Imperial or you're metric. So each one of these is color coded. So there's one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna open the app and see, and see I can, I can sit this over here. You don't wanna put this on a hot grill or hot smoker. And we're gonna talk about that in a moment. So I'm gonna launch the app. I've already paired it with the app. And let's see, and I can see I've already got the connection. So number one, well, let me, uh, let me record this screen here so y'all can see what I'm doing here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we can see number one within the app is pork. I've selected pork because I'm smoking ribs. And then number two, I did ambient temperature. Number one is gray or kind of silvery color. So you can see here, not only on the, on the metal part, but also on the back, that's gray. Number two is ambient temperature, blue there, blue there. So we're gonna hook up the ambient probe first, which is blue. So I'm getting the blue one out. Very nice uh, things that, that this comes with where you can just roll your cable up while it's not in use, good for storage. So this blue one, I'm gonna plug into port number two. It's my ambient probe. So for your ambient probe, all you do, you stick it through this bracket, and then once it's stuck through the bracket, then you can stick it in most, pretty much most any grill grate. Now, if you've got multi-level smoker, if you've got a multi-level smoker, you might wanna put one on each level, you know, have two ambient probes. But this just kinda of goes in here. Let's see, I'm gonna put it on the back here. That goes in, it keeps it off the grill surface. That's gonna monitor your ambient tips. And again, this is blue. So I know that when I plug this into the device, I'm gonna plug it in as the ambient. The next one I'm gonna get is the silver one or the gray or whatever you wanna call it. And again, indicated by this tip and then also the stripe on the device itself. Two places where you see the color, that's nice. That's attention to detail, man. So we're gonna pull this out. And this is gonna go into my ribs. So let's get my ribs. I kind of cheated and did a little bit of a pre-bake but that's how I like to do my ribs. So I pre-bake them in this full container. Just a, just a very low and slow pre-bake temp. Just wanted to penetrate them with the, with the uh, onion and the garlic and, this, and the uh, marinade that I used. But we're gonna go ahead and stick the, the uh, pork monitor. And again, this, in this case, it's pork, but whatever you're cooking it, you know, it could, uh, you could set it for that type of meat. So I'm gonna stick it in the ribs. You could put another one in the other rack of ribs if you wanted to, but you know, I'm just gonna use one for now. I'm gonna put it in this, I'm gonna put it in this bigger rack. And now what I do is grab my device. Again, this is gray, so it's gonna match, it's gonna go in port number one. And then blue is gonna go in port number two. Because blue is my uh, and that alarm's telling me that, that my meat's already hit the desired temperature <laughs> from my pre-bake. 
and we're going to show you that here in a minute, the, uh, the settings. So, and number two is the ambient probe, which is about 198 degrees right now. This does have a stand on it where you can stand it up. It's also got a hook on the top if you wanted to rig, say, a piece of, uh, well, in my case, I've got these magnetic hooks on my grill. Look at that, perfect. So now I can hang it from the side of my grill and uh, it, you know, it doesn't touch the grill. You don't want to make it make contact with the grill because that would obviously melt the device. But likewise, if you wanted to, you could use the included stand and sit it on the ground. Very versatile. And within the app, when you look at this, you can see that my ribs have actually already hit the hit the, the level of doneness. So, you know, in this case, I'm not doing a traditional smoke where it's all in the uh, all in the grill or the smoker. I did a pre-bake, and now I'm just doing this to get you know, to hit them with some apple wood and some hickory. Just gonna do that for a little bit and then sauce them up. But you can see here, you can, you can monitor the ambient temp right now. It's about 226, 229. I'm gonna walk away. This supposedly has a 650 foot range. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even drop a bar. It's got a little, you can see towards the top right, it's got the bar of the signal strength. So the pork, it's saying the target temperature for pork well done is 170. I'm a, well, I don't want to say I'm a professional cook, but I've been smoking barbecue my entire life. I want to give these kind of a more, it, I'm not doing a competition with this, so these are just going to have more of a firm type texture because I'm going to cook them a little bit more than I normally do, and I'm going to sauce them up. So I'm going to go against the recommendations here, but you can, you can adjust all of this in the app. See option number one, I can select pork, and then you can select the degree of doneness. 160 degrees will be medium, medium well would be 165, and well done will be 170. So according to this app, you know, my ribs will be over, overcooked. You can also set alarms if it goes above, you know, once your meat hits the desired temperature. Meat temperature, you can have this alert you. So the convenience, Oh, and look at this, ambient temperature reached 330 degrees. That's too hot. Typically, you want to smoke, most people want to smoke at about 225. So what I need to do is work on my airflow on this and reduce that temp. But see that alarm, and part of this I'm doing on purpose, because I want you to see what all, this, what all this app is capable of. So, you know, I can control the airflow, I can change the vents, I can reduce this temperature, me knowing the grill like I know my grill. But... You know, if you were using this in conjunction with, say, an electric smoker, which is very easy to regulate the internal temperature, keeping that electric smoker fine-tuned for your desired smoking temp, whether it's 225 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever, would be an easy task. You know, when you're using charcoal and hickory chips, or charcoal, and in my case, applewood, you know, you're, uh, you really got to know what you're doing. But I'm doing this as an extreme example. So right now, my ribs, since I had them pre, since I pre-baked them, they're already to the well done temperature. So those ribs are safe to eat. So what I'm doing now is just, you know, adding the flavor and ultimately demonstrating this uh, Thermo Pro because it's a really cool device. And what better way to enjoy a new gadget than to cook an awesome meal? I'm doing these uh, ribs and then I'm doing wings. So it's really cool, but this Thermo Pro app couldn't be easier. I didn't do the pairing the device within Thermo Pro app because it was so easy. All that I had to do is launch the ThermoPro app, power on my ThermoPro device after charging it using the included USB-C is in Charlie cable. Uh, you can see a battery indicator towards the top right. It's fully charged. It'll be interesting to see the battery life of this, but I would have no worries about it lasting well past on one charge, you know, my entire smoke, even if I'm doing like a brisket or something, which takes a long time. But yeah, very impressive app and uh, you know, very, uh, very impressive device, man. So expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find where to order it online. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com 
forward slash irix guy and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever i post another video thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day